Well, my Australian friend Jacob from Make Science Fun is at it again. He sent me another challenge. This time, he wanted me to try to find as many magnets and magnetic fields as I can from around the house. Now, Jacob did the same thing around his house, and you should definitely check out his video and subscribe to his Make Science Fun channel. And I think he's right. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to find as many magnets as he did. I mean, it was truly, you can see here's his workshop. It's extraordinary how many magnets this guy has. However, I do think there were maybe one or two places where he did not find magnetic fields that he could have. So I'm going to, in this stem bite, try to find as many magnets and magnetic fields around the house as I can. Now, in addition to not having an amazing workshop like Jacob does, I've got another problem. My house is really clean. If you've watched any stem bites before, you know my house is not normally this clean, and there's a good reason for it. We're moving. In fact, our house is currently for sale. So if you like what you see, go ahead and, you know, make an offer. Now, as I look around the house, I see magnets in lots of places. The first place where I think of seeing magnets is inside of electric motors. So let's try to find all the motors in the house. Here we go, here we go, here we go, motors. All right, definitely motor. Fan, motor. Other fan, motor. Garbage disposal, motor. Motors, motors, motors. DVD player, motor. Other fan, motor. Oh, 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 heater. Motor. Ooh. You know you want to buy this house. There's lots of motors in the basement. The freezer has a motor for its compressor. Drill. Motor. Shop vac. Motor. Water pump. Motor. Furnace air conditioner. Motor. Power sander. Motor. Chop saw. Motor. Circular saw. Motor. Ultimate useless machine. Motor. All right, I think that brings me to the second place where I like to find magnets and electromagnets, and that is inside speakers. More or less every speaker in the house has a permanent magnet inside, an electromagnet around it, and when that electromagnet goes on and off, it moves back and forth, which is what creates the sound. So if I find speakers in and around the house, I'm also finding magnets. Oh wait, printer, motor. Let's look for speakers then. So I got a speaker, phone, speaker, washing machine, speaker. What? TV, it's got speakers. Radio alarm clock, speaker. Baby monitor, speaker. And microphone. Microphones basically work the same way. iPad, speaker. All right, so I think that's all the speakers. Um, the other thing I think about when I think about magnets and magnetic fields is anywhere there's the flow of electricity. So anytime electricity is flowing through a wire, a magnetic field is also being created around the wire. And this is one I don't think Jacob pointed out. So now if I find any place where there's electricity flowing in the house, there's also a magnetic field. Light bulbs, magnetic field. Light switch, magnetic field. Electric outlet, electric outlet, electric outlet. I could keep going like this. Coffee maker, electricity. Fan is still going. Refrigerator, electricity. TV, electricity. Uh, computer, electricity. Uh, electricity is everywhere, right? In fact, it, even if I thought about the wires running through all these walls, in fact, maybe this is how I can beat Jacob, right? If I consider every centimeter of wire to be a separate object, and I add up all the electricity in the whole house, then I think I would have more objects even than Jacob did. Well, according to my back of the envelope calculations, I still don't think that I can match Jacob. In particular, Jacob pointed out a couple things that I did not know about. I didn't know, for example, that magnets were a central part of how phone chargers work. I guess the transformer uses magnets. I also didn't know how microwaves, like the actual radiation inside a microwave was made. I, I suspected that magnets be, were involved, um, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I have to give credit to Jacob. I think you won this round, and I'm proud to give Australia a virtual high five. I'm glad they've got you and Make Science Fun to help, you know, make science fun. Stand by.